Hey guys, before you do anything else, um, I just want to make you aware of that I now have my Facebook page ready. So you can follow me now on Facebook. Not my personal account, but this time a Droid Cabin Rooted blog. Just go to my channel and you will find it here below the um, uh, channel description. Just tap here on Droid Kevin Rooted Blog and you will directly will be um Yeah will you will be here and you can you can like the site and follow me on Facebook. That would be really cool. Just read that here. So would be cool. Now enjoy the video guys. Hey guys, what's up? Kevin is back with another tutorial for you. And this time I want to show you how to install CM10 on your Droid Razor XT910 or GSM version, yeah, of the Razor Max for its, for its um, of course. I will get the Razor here. So hopefully this method uh, will be more simple than um, my previous version of it. So guys. Um, Enjoy the video. So guys, I want to keep this, uh, these instructions as um, simple as possible. So <clears throat> let's start um, with the things you have to get done before we can actually flash the ROM. So make sure your razor is rooted and it has USB debugging on. You can check that in settings and security no security actually not uh, developer options usb debugging is on and your razor is rooted properly so guys and now we just um, go to the play store and download um, the boot menu app just type in boot menu manager and install this one here. So why I do it, why I'm doing this here again, this um, installation method is because um, development is so much um, more intense now because um, every second day there will be a new build of CM10 for this phone, and that's really awesome. You can use it as a stock ROM or a CAGSEC ROM. So it has to done has to do with the kernel, not with a first or second system. So yeah, when you have boot menu installed, it's very easy. Go to your boot menu app, and yeah, make sure that yeah that um, wait a second that um, these boxes are checked here. So you have to install the hijack, the packages and the boot menu managers of course installed. Now and um, so for the ROM just go to the XDA developers forums. Um, I will give you the link in the description to make it easier. So what you have to do is download the G apps and um, yeah the nightly ROM for your Droid Razor, Android development. So you see nightly builds here by Crack Team. I will give you the link in the description for these nightlies. So we change to page one. Now here you can see these um, change logs and um, so builds can be found and downloaded here. Make sure you um, downloaded the last, um, the latest build and these Jellybean G apps. I will give you the link for that. So these are the uh, usual G apps that you flash with every Jellybean ROM. So what you have to do now is go to your Project Lens Boot Menu Manager um, go to second system manager, make sure this insecure ADB D and custom init is checked here, 
both uh, have to be on. Um, after you have checked this, you go to your ROM converter. So these boxes I have to be checked here, these two, and also this one is very important. When you flash a Jelly Bean ROM now, um, when these methods change, I always will make a new tutorial for you to keep this very easy. This phone is really beautiful. Yeah. So um, patch second init root fs safe strap. Don't worry about safe strap. You can use stock or Kexic ROMs with safe strap. But um, for the boot menu manager for second system, you have to uh, use the stock cm10 blah blah dot zip and not the kexec blah 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 dot zip convert and now search your rom so when you have found your rom just convert it and it will do it for you in the background so i have already converted my rom and now go to um, second system manager and now you have to Tap here, install a zip package, clear data and cache before install, and clear Dalvik cache before install. Add a zip to Q, and now go to your uh, folder, to your system folders here. Um, yeah, choose your Jelly Bean G apps here. No, that's actually wrong. You have to first, of course, the ROM and then G apps. So go to your folder, I have stored it in download folder. This should be, yeah, the latest. So um, the converted ROM has always the BM in capital letters before the actual ROM name. Choose this one, add a zip file. Go to your folder where you've placed the G, G apps and just hit OK, it will ask you to reboot and OK. So guys, I um, also have to excuse um, um, that I I've, I'm I'm very busy now. Um, that's not so cool because I started my channel just some weeks ago, and yeah, but I you will get two two videos a week or so, and we almost um, hit 100 subscribers. That's really cool, guys. Love you all, and. Um, yeah, I will keep making these videos, and um, I'm very happy about every, yeah, every thumbs up and subscription. That's really awesome. So as you see now, it will install it, and some of you guys um, got the um, the error here. I think it's called status seven installation aborted or something. Yeah, and when you follow my tutorial, uh, I think this shouldn't be there. Then you had um, have done something wrong, I think, because um, for me it works. Make sure your web partition is wiped. Yeah, go to your... For this webtop partition, you have to go to your um, second system recovery. Go to wipe, um, to mounts and storage. No, actually not mounts and storage. Yes, mounts and storage, yeah. And wipe your webtop partition. But um, I will give you also a link for these um, XDA instructions. But it also should uh, work when you don't do this, this uh, web partition wipe. I tried this out. So when you get this error, you probably have um, made something wrong. Um, got a bad installation here. The zip installer was patched by boot menu manager. When you see that, um, uh, you almost got your CM10 installed. So see you when the ROM actually boots. No, let's um, stay here and you can follow these um, scripts here. Now you see the Android. So now um, it's checking the system integrity of Boot Menu Manager, it's good. Yeah, and um, yeah, when it boots up, um, you have to make sure that you boot the CM10 ROM, 
not the stock Motorola ROM, or else you have to go back into your boot menu manager. So just tap, go to another ICS ROM, double tap here. Yeah, yeah, that's good. So guys, um, I think I um, attach another video to this video. <laughs> At the end of the video, you will see me with my friend um, having some fun in the bowling center. <laughs> Maybe you want to watch it, I just add this. And um, when you like it, I will do it in more of my videos, just for fun. And um, you see me, what I'm doing all the day. <laughs> so I would just will add in another video to this video when I edit this one. Oh my background here just starts to get dirty a bit. So um, many of you guys um, were stuck in a boot loop after flashing because just um, now I wanted to give you a small update of these instructions make it a more simple and yeah this this time it should work for you. I will give you the exact links for XDA forum and the links for the uh, nightly nightly builds. And yeah, I showed you how to convert the ROM and and stuff, and now it should work. So yeah, guys, we are almost up. When you see these um, background lights here for these soft keys. Yeah, we're up. Just show you for confirmation, but <laughs> so yeah, you see, this ROM is super fast on this phone. I have to say it's uh, faster than on my Nexus. You get uh, seven thousand points easily with Quadrant Test. Oh, sorry, with um, N22 Benchmark. And yeah, you see, welcome. This works flawless. And yeah, uh, enjoy my bowling video. Guys, um, see you in my next video. Just make sure you do this here. Really important. Um, yeah, see you. Bye. Guys, um, I forgot something to say. So many of you guys um, uh, posted a comment because um, you won't get internal storage here on this second system CM10 ROM. It has to do with the fact that um, the developer decided to use the in entire um, internal storage of this phone to boot up to four ROMs in the future. I don't actually think every one of us need that, but um, that's uh, sad for me and others because um, yeah, we uh, don't actually have an SD card here, micro SD card placed in the phone. So yeah, when you use CM10, you just now have to buy an uh, external SD card. 8 gigs are sufficient, but um, yeah. So just make sure you go to your next store and uh, buy a micro SD card. These are not so expensive in these times. Uh, you get 8 gigs for, don't know, on eBay, $7 or, or something, yeah. Yeah, now, just wanted to give you this information. Enjoy my next video. And yeah, this uh, video which follows. Right! Ha ha ha!